Hello everyone, Mr. Schultz here as we dive into SMART goals. Not so dumb, but SMART. So you have to make these goals that are more attainable. And so you have to set goals that you will be successful at. Let's go over some examples. For example, you have to be specific. That's the S in SMART. Be clear about what you want to happen. I want this to happen. It has to be measurable. You should be able to track your goals. Okay. It should be action-packed. What small specific actions must you take to it achieve this goal? They have to be more realistic, though. Can you achieve these goals? Are they doable? And finally, they have to be time-bound. Like you should be setting a time frame for you to be successful at these goals. And they can't be like three years from now. If you're setting a goal of three years from now, that, that's fine. But you should be setting goals in between to get you to that eventual goal. Of example, graduating. Specific. I want to have zero tardies to class by the end of the fourth quarter. That's very specific. A not specific is, I just want to be on time to class. Well, yeah, but if you don't have a particular goal in mind, like, how are you going to feel if you break it? You're like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was on class to, on time. It should be measurable. I want to make at least one out of four shots I take in soccer games. Well, did you shoot four times and did you make one of them? or more. If you did, well, congratulations, you have a measure. If you don't, if you go above or below, you know, did you hit this measure? A not measurable goal would be, I want to make a lot of soccer goals in my games. Well, what is a lot? When would you be successful in this goal? When will this goal be complete? Action pack. The right way is to make a 93% average in science by the end of fourth quarter. I will review my notes every night for 15 minutes. The wrong way is just to say, in order to make a 93% average in science, I must study. Well, that's a no-brainer. Well, how are you going to study? What actions are you going to do to make you be successful at meeting this goal? It's your choice. How specific are you going to be? Realistic. I want to make 8 out of 10 of the free throw shots that I attempt. 80%? That seems doable if you practice. By the end of... But now, when is this goal due? Are you going to say, hey, in a week? Probably not. In... More than a week? Yeah, maybe. Like maybe three weeks? Maybe if you're practicing every day. Unrealistic. I want to make 200 free throw shots in one game. Who, who does that? I don't think anybody will make free throw, 200 free throw shots in one game. You'd have to be getting, you know, hurt. Or like, you know, they... Yeah, it's not possible, I don't think. It's not realistic. That's the key word. The final one we're going to have is Time Bound. I want to learn to play three Beatle hit songs by the end of the semester. That seems doable if you start now, not if you start in December. <laughs> um, if you don't say, like, I just want to learn to play the guitar, well, what's your measurable item there? Like, like yeah, everybody will, could be able to learn to play the guitar, but by when? And that's the key. When do you want to do these things? All right, guys. Now we're going to go into your SMART assignment. Good luck. That assignment looks like the following. This is our SMART beginning of the semester goal setting right here. You, just to remind you, here's, here's the SMART goals mini lesson. It's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. And so what we're going to do is we're going to 
Sorry, I, uh, I fixed it. It should be action-packed right there. Specific, measurable, action-packed, relevant, and time-bound. All right, so what is your goal? So you're going to come up with an academic goal and a personal goal. So, for example, your academic goal would be to, and we can go to our text box and just type it in and say, I want to earn an 80% on all mastery checks or module eight. So it's specific. You want to earn a 80% on mastery checks, measurable. Did you earn it on 80%? Um, well, what can I even say? By the second time. So we're going to say, hey, we got two times. So is it action packed? No, not yet. Maybe we need to say, hey, um, I will complete all the must do's and watch additional videos on con. Oh, let me do my list. If I look at this right here, it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. There we go. So as you type, make sure you can just, you know, edit it. Make sure it fits. The 18 was too big, so I made it 14. So make sure you answer each question to the best of your ability. Do your best. And answer each question as you go along. So there's about six questions for your academic goal, and there's six questions for your personal goal. So your personal goal is more like, that's not having to really revolve around the classroom. It revolves around you. So do you want to learn how to play a sport? Do you want to play, learn how to play a musical instrument? Do you want to score the highest on a video game? Anything would work for this. But... It has to be a smart goal. And so write some detailed steps at the very end. Give me at least three steps. How are you going to make sure that you are following your plan in order to achieve both of your smart goals? All right, guys, you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in class. Bye.